chateau is yeah. yellow. It's beautiful. It's good, no? That's the teal I was talking about. This season, the idea of individual color and in individual women and, and mixing that, not only in the clothes, in, in a very graphic way, but also in the makeup. Show you a couple of variations. That's nice. It's quite beautiful for the eye, no? Have a little play. It's more unusual that he's very, very color orientated. I worked with him since God was a boy, and um, he used to say, like, oh my God, there's so much color in the collection. I'd get here, it'd be like beige with a bit of green. When the color elements show up, they're dramatic and they're kind of uh, incisive. My color contribution is that it's got to belong to the show. Crazy. We're thinking about that. You did once that beautiful slick back, comb back with a fold here. Was that like rolled into the back and then there was... You just pulled it all in and then this came back flat and straight. Like it's all about quality with Narcissa. And it, you know, it kind of, it always, it always has been. You just kind of have to think like him, and I actually do think like him, because I think in terms of design, so I always really try to understand the silhouette. Potentially we're doing this thing where we have different makeup on different girls, which we need to assign according to the look and according to the girl, because certain girls carry things in a better way than others. I have done shows in the past where every girl had different makeup. It's murder. I wonder if I can get the other girl. Can I borrow her for a second? Just I wanted to see her next to the other girl with a lip color. I've been very fortunate that I've had a very long relationship with Dick Page and Eugene because they understand the way that I work. The bits you don't do become just as important as the bits you do. Like an overdone face is as bad as an overdone dress. It's that kind of interpretive element that whatever I do, it belongs to Narcissa at the end of the day. He's really about um his craft and he's like an amazing an amazing technician but there are designers that kind of think like stylists but he's really a designer he, he kind of makes clothes for bodies it really helps to have like clear direction that's so great. extraordinary look at that that's gorgeous the dyes that Narcissa was shown with I think starts off as part of the inspiration and that's a nice stepping off point when someone shows you something that doesn't have a physical relationship to the clothes per se but to see that in an abstract sense is kind of shorthand for me because that's where I come from as well. Like makeup doesn't exist until it goes onto the face. Nothing's ever set in stone. Oh, come on. Yeah. It just feels a little bit. Uh... We can get to the stage where we think we're really happy with the face and the hair and everything's looking great, and you put the clothes on, you go no. <laughs> I love working with them because it all comes together very naturally and we've never had a, a drama day of show. Mm -hmm.